Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I am here today with a Trader Joe's haul. I spent $112 and some change, so I will jump right in. Forgive my voice, I have a cold or some allergies or something that I am fighting right now. So, back over here, I got my Cruciferous Crunch. Really like this. I like to stir fry it with um, usually some bacon and some olive oil. And it has kale, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, green cabbage, and red cabbage. And it is very good. I also got this Everyday Butter Lettuce Salad Kit. This is new to me. I haven't seen it. I haven't been to Trader Joe's in, I can't even tell you the last time. But I have never seen this before. Butter lettuce, Parmesan cheese, croissant croutons, and ranch vinaigrette. So that sounded good. These um, shaved Brussels sprouts are a staple for me, so I grab those. Sometimes I mix them with this crunch mix and just kind of, um, you know, make a larger portion size. I grabbed this tube of tomato paste because sometimes you just don't want to open up a whole can of tomato paste. And this is so much more convenient than those cans. Grab some of my favorite butter waffle cookies. Last time I was there, they were completely out. So I was excited to see them back. I also grabbed some of this um, shredded cabbage. You get red cabbage, green cabbage, and orange, orange carrots. And I usually use this in stir fries. And then I also grabbed some baby broccoli. I love to have it. Normally what I'll do is chop up this baby broccoli and add it to this chicken chow mein, which I love. It bulks it up a little bit. And my husband and I both really like it a lot. My favorite chicken fried rice. I love this stuff. It comes with dark chicken. And it also comes with peas, which I do not like at all. But what I do is I take those peas out in the frozen state and I stir fry it up and it is absolutely delicious. This garlicky pasta was a new item at Trader Joe's. Unfortunately, when I got home, I realized that it's open. So I am going to take this back to Trader Joe's. I don't know how I did not see that, but the whole thing is open. Um, but Italian pasta and a creamy umami garlic sauce, and it sounds really good. This is a new item. My husband and I like to try stuff like this. Cheesecake inspired truffles. And I think this was like $4.99. Flip it over on the back and you can see the different cheesecake fillings. Um, chocolate with salted caramel, um, lemon curd flavored, raspberry flavored, and chocolate with vanilla flavored cheesecake. And it sounds good. Cute little treat for us to try out. I grabbed this um, Crispy rice bar, these crispy rice bars, you get three in a little package. This is a perfect little treat, 210 calories. I really like it a lot. I grabbed these jerk plantain chips for my husband, he likes these. And then um, this is something that I have bought before and we both like it a lot. Quick skillet meal, um, what is it? You get uh, different types of cheeses and it's in a creamy tomato based sauce and it's very tasty. These soup dumplings are a staple for us. I got um, pork and chicken and I got a box for each of us, my husband and I. And then I grabbed him this organic lemonade. He likes lemonade. Trying out this sweet Italian sausage, I don't think this is new. I've just never paid attention to it before, but I'm um, trying to eat less beef and less pork. So I thought this would be, it sounds good and it sounded like a good substitute. These mini croissants are a frequent purchase for me. Pretty much every time I go there, I get these croissants. They are so good. Um, you can just grab what you need and make them for a meal. I do let mine proof first, even though it says you can bake it from freezer to oven. I find that they rise and get a lot bigger when I let them rise um, overnight or, you know, for like eight hours during the day. I have been wanting to try these chocolate chunk cookies. They're in the little bakery section. Now these are sea salt. I'm not a huge sea salt and dessert person. Um, I see some big flakes on there. I'm gonna try to knock them off, but they sounded good and I've been wanting to try them. So decided to give them a try. 
These are a repeat purchase for me, these tea tree oil cleansing pads. Of course, I do use them on my face, but I also use them just to kind of like wipe under my underarms. It's probably too much information, but I recently made a switch from just regular deodorant to a natural deodorant, and sometimes you need a little extra um, bit of help during the day while your body is transitioning, and these work really well. I also use them like when I take my son to school and I go work out after I drop him off. Um, if I have somewhere to go afterwards, I use these just to freshen up in the car really quickly underneath my arms or my face and they work really well. These cookies are a new item at Trader Joe's. So they have the lemon flavored waffle cookies and then the almond butter thins, which I love. And then they have almond butter thins with flavored strawberry bits. Mm -mm -mm, looks delicious to me. This is a new item, uh, this Korean gochujang sauce. Um, so it has sesame oil in there and vinegar in there and it says it's for dipping, drizzling, and cooking. So I'm excited to try this because my husband and I, we love Asian flavors. Um, let me go back up here. I got some milk for my son and then I got these unsalted tortilla chips. I tend to try to buy unsalted tortilla chips. We try to watch our sodium. And if you're eating these with a dip, which typically we are, or like nachos or something like that, you really don't miss the extra salt. So I try to cut sodium wherever I can, and this is an easy way to do that. Grab two boxes of their rice pilaf. It is very good. I love rice aroni, but this is much better than rice aroni. It has a lot more flavor. It is delish. And then I grabbed two cans of coconut milk. I love their coconut milk, and I use coconut, coconut milk to cook quite a bit. So this is everything that I picked up on my Trader Joe's haul. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.